Today I'm going to show you how to make a chicken pot pie. I'm sorry, what? Today we are going to show you how to make a we? chicken pot pie. Mama B, you're looking fantastic as always. <laughs> Very excited about today. What are we making today? We're going to make chicken pot pie today. I get asked a lot for recipes of some of the dishes that I make and I thought this would be a much easier way to share some of the food I love. What can I help you with? Um, absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'll take care of it all. Can I clean the chicken? Uh, no. You do a lot of things great. Cooking isn't one of them. In this house, we leave the cooking to me and let's keep it that way. Let's see what you got. All right. The first thing that you need is chicken. So I'm going to be making two chicken pot pies. And so I use three chicken breasts. So I already rinsed them. And you drop it into um, hot water. So you're going to bring the water to a boil. I don't add salt because there's going to be plenty of salt in the soup and gravy that I'm going to use later. So no salt, drop it into the water. And the reason why I boil the chicken and not saute it is because when you saute it, the outside of the chicken gets um, like crispy and hard and I don't want it that texture. I want it soft. So when you pull apart the chicken, it's really soft and that's what I want everyone to bite into. So you have three chicken breasts. I have cubed potatoes, about two cups of cubed potatoes. See, I cut it really small into cubes and that's boiling. So with the potatoes, you wanna cook it until it's firm, till the potatoes cooked. You don't want it too, too soft. We don't want mashed potatoes. We want a nice piece of cooked potato in the end. And I also have frozen vegetables. So this is mixed vegetables. It has peas, it has green beans and corn and carrots. And this is what I like to use. So I use about two cups. And another thing about me is that I never measure any, anything. So I kind of eyeball everything. Sorry guys, I don't measure my measurements. But I'm gonna say- I, I eyeball everything too. <laughs> I eyeballed Mama B when I met her. Oh. We got the vegetables in yeah. the pot. And this is great because, whoops, that's a, quite a bit. You're getting veggies in there. You're getting chicken, and uh, so it's like a complete meal. Who doesn't love chicken, potatoes, and veggies? Chicken, potatoes, veggies. Where we live, we have cream of chicken soup and this barbecue sauce. So you can use gravy if you want, but I love this barbecue sauce. I love the taste of it. So I add one can of this and one can of this. Don't add the water to the soup. You don't want to add water. And I have my pie shells. So. Again, where we live, I have tender flake, and this is just a regular pie shell. You can use it for pie, or you can use it for uh, food. So in this case, I'm using this for the chicken pot pie, and you wanna make sure you defrost the pie shells before you cook them. And we'll make sure we have uh, all the instructions in the description right. below. Okay, so you've got your three burners. Boil, boil, boil. Boil. No, no salt in anything. No salt. With chicken pot pie, you have the option of doing the filling and then just covering it with one piece of the dough. So some people like their chicken pot pie like that. I like crust on the bottom and crust on top. The more crust, the better. So that's why I have four out for two pies. But the bottom part of the uh, chicken pot pie, we are going to cook before we put the filling in. And this is, I learned from experience that if you put the filling in and this is not cooked, it doesn't cook afterwards. So we're going to pop this in the oven. I have the oven at 400 to cook the pie shells and we're going to cook this while that is cooking as well. The chicken you're going to cook approximately for 10 minutes uh, on boil and that's just to make sure it gets cooked entirely through and the potatoes until they're cooked and the vegetables a good way of knowing when the vegetables are cooked is they'll come to the surface of the water and that's when you know they're cooked. Another thing you could do is uh, chicken Don't facial. Do Don't do that. Chicken face facial is Don't really... Don't do that. Thanks. So I pulled out the pie shells. They're cooked. As you can tell, they're uh, nice and brown and toasty mm. on the outside. You don't want to cook nice. it too, too much. So that's perfect like that. And the reason why I put it on a cookie sheet is so that when I put the filling inside and I put it back in the oven, if it does boil over for whatever reason, it's not making a mess in your oven. It's going to go on the tray. Owns a tray. So remember what I said about the veggies? See, they're coming up to the surface. They're cooked probably about uh, 10 minutes as well. And uh, the potatoes, checking the 
potatoes. The fork's going through nicely. There we go. And the chicken's done too. So we're just gonna start getting everything out. So chicken first. So you're draining the chicken. Draining the chicken. Yeah. Do you have to cook the chicken or is it you have to cook it anymore? You have to put it in the oven or something? No, no, it's done. So nice. One, two, hot, three. Feeling okay. hot, hot, hot. Chicken's there. Now those Next. are some hot chickens. Do you have to like cut through it to see if it's like Yeah, I'm gonna tear it apart afterwards. Oh, okay. So you got the potatoes. Mommy's gonna tear it up! And you can drain it all in the same uh, colander because it's all gonna go together anyways. Okay, got all the potatoes. Chicken. Done. Chicken and potatoes. Can't go wrong okay. with that. And Ain't nothing wrong with chicken and potatoes. And you don't want any water in there because you want the gravy inside. So the liquid that's gonna go in the pie to be nice and thick. So make sure you get all the water out of your potatoes, all the water out of the chicken and the veggies so that it's not watery inside the, the pie. Nobody likes a watery pie. Nobody wants a watery chicken pie. You want Nobody. it creamy. Yes. So when you cut it, oh, yes. and everything comes out, the ooey gooeyness. Mm. Mm. <laughs> creamy goodness, gooeyness. You know, if I was making a chicken pot pie, that's probably I would do the same, <laughs> the same thing. That would. Okay, Romeo. Drain the veggies. Done. Okay. See, Papa B, this is his job. I'm the cook. This is what Papa B does afterwards. He washes all the pots. I'm the cleaner. And he's a wonderful cleaner and pot bag. See that? Okay. I'm worth. I'm worth something. I'm. I'm useful. I'm a useful engine. You are. You I'm matter. A, thank you. I matter. I'm a useful engine. The veggies oh. and the potatoes. Mixing it in the Look at that beautiful bowl. color. That is a nice color. It's all about presentation too. Not really. It's about it tasting it's really about the taste. good. It could probably look like, um, you know, all kinds of things, but as long as it tastes yeah. nice. And it is a little bit of work, you know, it is a tiny bit of work because you have to cook everything separately and incorporate everything. But you know what? I promise you, it is worth it. So now we have the chicken. So my hands are washed. I always wash my hands in the kitchen and you notice I tie my hair back because I always want my food to be um, clean. All I'm doing now is I'm tearing the chicken apart. I love finding nice big pieces of chicken in the chicken pot pie. I don't have to look for chicken in there. I want to find lots of chicken. Well, Miss Monkey, how's it going? Good. And are you ready for the chicken pot pie? No! Cupcake apron. Necessary. Necessary. What? What is that? What is that? Is that your Miranda That's sings? My Miranda sings. Is that your Miranda? Okay, try Miranda sings at present. What? What are you doing? <laughs> That's kind of Miranda. Is that a Miranda? Is that a good uh, Miranda sings impression? She doesn't do it like me. Oh my gosh, she's so bad. She's so horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all that chicken. Those are some big pieces of chicken. Yes. So we've got all the chicken here. Okay. So now we're gonna add the cream of chicken soup. Okay. To this mix, right cream, in there. Cream of chicken. Try to get everything in there. Right. And then we're gonna add this amazing barbecue sauce or mm. gravy, whatever you like to add in there. That is nice. See, that's an awesome consistency. So you have the vegetables, the potatoes, the chicken, mm -hmm. the gravy, and the cream of chicken. Yep. And you're mixing it up. And now you mix it up. That's the sound of love. Love. That's the sound of love incorporating love. all together. Oh yeah. With the chicken pot pie. Love. With the chicken pot pie. That's, That's amore. Oh, All right. Pot pie. So there you go. The gravy is everywhere. It is. That okay, is, wow. I call it gravy. It's the it's so it's a soup and the gravy. Soup. So or barbecue the... sauce. It's all together now. Let's bring the pie shells back. And the oven is still at 400. Okay. okay. 
And I know this looks like a lot of filling, but you'd be amazed how much can actually go in the, in the pies. And I love having lots of filling in there. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna split it between the two, three chicken breasts. Yeah, three chicken breasts. Two cups of potatoes and two cups of vegetables, give or take. Wow. And if you have leftover filling, you can eat it as well. You can put it over white rice. You can put it over some pasta. Wow. See you guys, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. Look at that. And it doesn't have to be totally flat. It can go a little bit over. See? Mm. Nothing gets wasted. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put these shells on top. Oh, so, okay, so those, those are the uncooked shells. These are the uncooked ones. Okay. Very gently, you're going to bring it off the pie plate. Oh. Okay, gentle, gentle, gentle and you're going to cover it. Just like that, and then we're gonna seal it. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. look at that, see? So you can, like, that's why the filling you can put really high, because this goes really high there as well. You can either just seal it with your fingers, push down on the edges, or if you want, you can get really fancy and do it with a fork. That's how I do it. Really? Really? I just wanna show you how I'm closing this, I have, this hand underneath, I'm just bringing up the dough because you have to be very gentle, okay? And I'm just using my finger to seal it, okay? Make sure it's all sealed so that the bubbly, beautiful mixture when it starts um, cooking in the oven doesn't come out. So you wanna make sure it's all sealed. Again, I'm not using a fork for this. I'm just using my fingers, but if I had people coming over for dinner, then I would probably use a, a fork to make it nice and pretty. Very important, this part. You want to cut a few um, pieces into the pie shell so the steam can come out as well. Okay, and that's done. All the ingredients are cooked. So everything's cooked on the inside, the bottom is cooked. All you're doing is cooking the top part of the shell, that's it. Okay. So I would say, about 10 to 15 minutes, keep an eye on it. That is like the biggest right chicken pot pie I've ever seen. Yeah. It is a massive chicken pot pie. So leave it in there and uh, we'll check on it in about 10 minutes. Nice. And then when it's cooked, I'll show you what it looks like. Sweet. Woo, look at that. Is it almost time, Mama Bee? Yeah. It's almost time. It's almost time. It's, it's almost time. time. It's, it's almost time. time. Wow. So what I did was I cooked it for 20 minutes at 400 and then it still wasn't cooked and I'm not a very patient person and I want to eat. I'm starving. I'm hungry. So I put the oven on broil, but you have to stay by your oven if you're going to put it on broil just to speed things up a little bit. And then it cooks the uh, top part really nice. And again, everything's cooked inside. We just needed the, the top part of the shell to cook. And so it's a nice color and this is going to be super hot. So we want to let this sit for a few minutes on the stove before you head into it. Whoa, what smells like heaven? Mmm, chicken pot pie. That's what smells like heaven, my friend. Slickety slick. Gonna be our taste tester. Are you ready for the chicken pot pie? Yes. Mr. Monkey, which one's yours? Let's cut into this. Oh my. Now that the rest. is a sweet looking chicken pot pie. Wow, <laughs> Mama Bee, that looks amazing. Thanks. Ladies first, gentlemen second. With the white gloves. With the white gloves. You're having, how does it taste? Why are you wearing your white gloves? Because I have cream. Oh, you have cream oh. in your hands. She's a special chicken pot pie tester it's with white very, gloves. It's very, very defined. I love the taste of the peas. I'll get a little bit, I'll get a little scoop of each and every little thing in this, what you might call it? The chicken pot pie judges, let's see what you have to say. I think... A five star. Five star chicken pot pie. 
Mr. Monkey, let's get your thoughts on this chicken pot pie. That's fantastic. <laughs> Anything say. else? I love my mama's food. Woo wee! Well, there you have it. That is the chicken pot pie. Special chicken pot pie from Mama B. Mama B. I'm not a professional chef. I am a professional eater though. I love food and I love to serve food to the people I love the most. So from my kitchen to yours, bon appetit. Let us know in the comments if you've enjoyed this video and if you want to see Mama B do more of these. Thanks for watching guys. We love you. Put the camera down, let's eat! Yeah, y'all! Uh -huh.